Alright. Hopefully everyone can hear me. What is this? Hold on a second. Wrong music. Okay. So today, rocking out in those half fast gamings Project 3XX with a straight truck mod added to it. Got the pup trailer, got loads of lumber, and gonna get to it. M11 Cummins engine in it for this truck. It's not the loudest engine. I just really like the way it sounds. Let's go ahead and hop in. Hit that. Oops, that was the wrong button. Okay. We are down near Miami, Florida somewhere. Started in Key West, and I wanted to do a practice run, and but everything seemed to be going smooth anyway. So I was like, "Well, let's just stream from where I am in the practice run," because I still got a lot of miles to go anyway. Going up to Knoxville, Tennessee. Hopefully I don't have no more crashes or stream labs freezing up on me like I was last night. Last night was an absolute nightmare to try to do anything. Nothing wanted to work it seemed like. I've taken out a lot of mods, redid the order just a little bit. And things seem to be smooth fine for now, but you never know. If it does crash, I'll just have to start it back up and see what happens again. And hope that it don't get too serious. <laughs> Fit the screen. There we are. And put that on live chat. Put this on live chat. And try again. I'm gonna put it back in gear. There we go. 
Now we're on the highway. <laughs> I looked at your chat, Nathan, and I almost went off the road. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping in, man. The seat? There you go. Passenger seat. <laughs> Looks like we're in Naples, Florida now. on. This sharp corner. Guess I won't put my cruise on. <laughs> but how you doing, Nathaniel? Nate? Nathan? But whichever you prefer to be called. I'm sorry, man. Hey Mustang, good seeing you again, buddy. Hey man, you're one of the ones that stopped in last night. I apologize for the two streams cutting off. I was having a lot of, a lot of technical difficulties. But it's good seeing you, man. I ain't seen you in a while. I was going into the exit. <laughs> That's on me. That was on me.
Hopefully this right lane don't lead into another exit. Congestion ahead. And it looks like it does. So I'm gonna get over. Yeah, that's what I thought. Got him. Got him. Looks like I'm just going straight through all this. Here's the exit from Tampa. Not so good with that outside view, I'll end up killing myself. <laughs>
expect it to be quite that tight. Let's go ahead and get out of that fast lane. Bypass the nearby way station. Awesome. Okay, or not. Jesus. Flying. Beaten. <laughs> What's that store? Raise hamburgers? I gotcha. I hate the way they cut right over as soon as there's a right lane open. Guess I'll go ahead and get over too. I guess, I don't know. <laughs>
Well, I'm making good time so far, I'd like to think. Could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong before. <laughs> Trucks and trailers use right lane. Okay. Way station. Ah, they got me on this one. Not expect that to weigh just about eighty thousand pounds. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, back at it. Here comes the rain. Try to set this cruise control again. Let's see if it works for a little while this time. <laughs> Man, the 5 0 are out in force in this game tonight. Well, this game night. How are you going to say that, right?
Damn, handmade arts and crafts in the next exit. I can't even talk today. Jeez. Five, 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 divorce, hundred dollars down. And some of these signs are great. <laughs> I guess I am getting off here. Didn't even realize it. <laughs> hey, Brennan, how are you, buddy?
Doing good? Nice, man. How's school going? Hopefully that's going good, too. Are you in school? You're supposed to be in school? <laughs> awesome, buddy. Awesome. That's what I like to hear. going good for my kids too they just got their first quarter report cards and I'm very happy with them they're both doing a great job for the first quarter of the year so that is always awesome Beating like a mother. Ah, lunchtime. I gotcha. Lunchtime indeed. Yeah, it is almost one o'clock. Well, for you it's not. But for me it's almost one o'clock. Awesome, man. Well, thank you for spending a little bit of your lunch with me. Appreciate that. As always. I'd show you the truck, but I'm still waiting for the morning. The morning light. Here in game. Oh, you son of a gun, you. Yeah, that's what I thought, man. Couldn't remember if you're an hour behind or two hours behind, but it's only an hour. Yeah. Good old time zones, huh? Good old time zones. Technically, I don't think I'm supposed to be in this third lane, but oh well. not paying attention to where I'm going next. Alright, alright. Gotta get things under control here. Like a race car. Pedal to the metal. Okay, so I'm not getting off here. Oh, almost caught some air. of a bumpy road through there. Truck drivers, stay out of left lane. Fair enough. I'll do my best. No promises, though. Hundred and sixty two miles until we reach Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. I do believe that's where I'm going. <coughs> I 
tell them to kiss. <laughs> hey, Tots, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> like I said, I'll do my best. No promises. <laughs> Oh man. Come on now, get that wannabe Dodge Charger in gear. Oh nice. Am I getting off here? Oh crap, I am. No Man's Sky. I, I never tried that one. I actually got on my PS4. It's actually all installed as that new Death Stranding game. I wanted to try out. And I was streaming while it installed, but it looks like it's done, so I get to try that out in a little while. I just rented it from the Red Box, you know, so I got it for a few days. Not much of a console player. But the game piqued my interest. Hey, Johnny, what's going on? Drop a gear and the hammer. Do what I can, man. I do what I can. <laughs> I, I only got the M11. M11. Cummins in this 420 horsepower and it's pushing 80,000 pounds, so doing what I can. Now it's starting to get a wee bit laid out. Grand eyes sucks for a long time. Oh yeah, caterpillar. Yeah. My brother, who's a trucker in real life, dies. Well, he'll die by his caterpillar, I'm telling you. It's got a 3408, I think it was. I know when they had it on the dyno, it's Kenworth W900. What, two years ago, they had to get a whole bunch of work done to it. They put it on the dyno. And the, the most power it put down was 750. 750 horsepower on that one run. But... They left it at about 600, just because for what he does, he don't need 750 horsepower. Want, yes, need, not really. <laughs> C15, yeah. So that's one thing about this game, like. Certain trucks only have that really good Caterpillar sound. And that's partially what's been frustrating me lately is getting a decent engine sound. But I, but I found a good couple good mods that have the better sound to it. Ooh, there's some lightning. up here yeah it's hard I think the sounds like mod wise the trucks are better now but like sound wise the mods are better like a year or two ago I don't know what happened like creature bomb, bomb and like 
Viper, Viper 2 and all of them, they like changed up the sounds a bit and they're, I don't know, it seems like a year or so ago they're a little bit better than they are now, but it could just be me, I don't know. Maybe wearing headphones all the time has finally made me deaf. <laughs> like I like the sound of this engine, but it seems quiet to me. It's even quieter on the stream, because on Streamlabs I got my game sound turned down, you know. But even to me, at full volume, it don't seem as loud as it should be. Yeah, ETS. Well, for SCS software, their main game is ETS. So, like, even their base game sounds seem better. <laughs> like, ATS is like a side project for them guys, because they're based in Europe. That's why the ETS map is all of Europe, and the ATS map is seven states. <laughs> Cleveland, Tennessee discovered. I didn't know there was a Cleveland, Tennessee. Hence why we run Pro Mods. That's one thing I have yet to try. Is the Pro Mods deal. That's one venture I haven't been on yet. doing so it's killing my momentum it's like a cheaper DLC yeah I keep I always mean to look into it and then it's always at like times like this where someone will bring it up and I'll be like pro mods I gotta look into that and then when the stream's over I'll go and do something else completely forget about it but I do got to remember to do that. Because I've always heard such good things about it from like Squirrel and them guys. When they do play ETS anyway. Get them wipers off. There we go. Oh, come on, don't give me a detour. I thought I had those turned off. God dang it. Ah, oh, man. I really thought I had those turned off. That just added a bunch of time onto the trip. Now that Pro Mods, at least for ETS2, I saw that like a multiplayer Pro Mods had its own server kind of thing. So what, whatever's available in Pro Mods is available on multiplayer over there? Or am I wrong on that? running out of fuel oh what the heck <laughs> I didn't even realize that lunatic com what's going on man good to see ya double trouble should have said something <laughs> I know it nobody used nobody uses a CB these days you got trucks that don't even have them in it no more uh, so not sure. 
Yeah, because I booted up ETS2's uh, Trucker's MP, and there was like Server 1, Server 2, or whatever they call it. And then it'd be like Pro Mods 1, Pro Mods 2. <laughs> I don't even know how I ran out of fuel at that. I mean, I did go almost a thousand miles. So I shouldn't say I don't know how, but... It just kind of crept up on me. I'm not used to running out of fuel in this game. There is that truck rescue thing. I could have a service truck bring me a few gallons of gas or whatever they call it. Let's see real quick. Is there a fuel station right over here? Yeah, there is. I might as well swing in there. Send you my triple A. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely costly. I've never really actually had to use it unless I was purposely trying to run out of fuel. Which I wasn't here, but it just kind of happened. Oops. I'm just going to go for it. Oh, it turned green anyway, look at that. Man, it's a lot different turning this straight truck with the dolly and short flatbed than a regular semi. It takes a little bit of adjustment. Not much, but a little bit. Having your pivot point be behind your back tires instead of on your back tires. Uh, am I speeding? Eh, not quite. It's a 45. It's a 35, though. Project 3XX, it is the truck I am driving currently. When you go into the when you go into the shop to purchase this in the game, there's right now there's four hood options. You can make it a 379, a 377, and I can't think of the other ones, the other two right now off the top of my head. But it's pretty much got four hood models in one truck to make it look like the other the different Peterbilts, you know what I mean? So it's a really neat mod. And then, then with the additional mod used with it that I found in Half Fast Gaming's community group, but it's actually on the mod sites now. Get me some taco. <laughs> with the additional mod, I'm able to run like this flatbed straight truck configuration with the dolly and stuff like that. The only thing is. The lumber that's on the truck itself is just decoration, it's not part of the load. So when I drop off the load, I'll still I'll have the empty trailer, but there'll still be lumber on the truck. Oh yeah, Lunatic, I'm doing good. <coughs> Better than last night. Last night I was having all kinds of technical difficulties. I tried to stream twice and ended up taking both of them down. Because Streamlabs froze up on my end, and then ATS crashed, and it just wasn't good. But today's been much better. Been going for almost an hour now, so. Come on, red light. I'm almost out of diesel here. Let's go.
Actually, Nathaniel, since you're still here, I could just pop in the mod dealer real quick. So it's right here, Project 3XX. It's your standard configuration when you open it in the shop. If you click on this one, you'd have 357, the hood, 377, 377 SFFA, and what I'm running right now, the 379. And then, I gotta make it a day cab. And then if I could freaking remember how to do it. <laughs> Where is it? Logger rack? No. So let's Yeah, no, just the three seventy nine and the uh The 389 is part of Vipers. There's the fenders. I just can't find the... Can't find the node. Crab bars? No. Cavern? No. Well, it's there somewhere. The node to make it into a tanker. I'm just having issues with it. <laughs> I see that one on. Oh, it's sitting here, that's why. Now I'll put it back to a day cab. So there's the logger, tanker, no that's not one, this way, tanker, logger, flatbed. The logger, this is what I was looking for, so you, you put the load on it, or you can put your pup trailer up there, so that's pretty neat. The only unfortunate part about it, like I said, so like now, I have the flatbed and I have the lumber. So once I deliver the trailer, if I want it to be completely empty, I got to go back into the shop and do this, you know, to be empty. But it's, it's different. It's definitely different than your regular just straight truck and trailer kind of deal. So I'm in Kentucky. No, I'm in Tennessee. Kentucky's up there. I know my geography, gosh dang it. Is there a box? No, there's not a box. It's the logger, the tanker, and the uh, flatbed. There should be a box. I wish there was a box. But maybe in future updates, you can hope. Because the truck is by the half fast gaming guys. And whoever else is in the credits there, I, can't, I, don't, I didn't read it, to be honest. And then the second mod to have the flatbed, the tanker, and the logger is done by Chris Hahn on Facebook. I put the links down in the description so everyone can check them out if they're interested. Here we go. Get some go go juice. Get a load to Arkansas. I'll see what's available. We'll definitely see what's available. Mm, close enough. Parking brake, engine, fill up. Let's see how many gallons this thing is anyway. Was it the 100 gallon tanks or the 200? 200.
<laughs> Just went through Arkansas? Arkansas or Arkansas? <laughs> Oh, Nathaniel must watch Brian's farming videos. Government juice. <laughs> okay. We call it our Kansas. I usually don't have to think about it too much, so I don't call it anything. <laughs> that state's too far away from me. Oh, this ought to be just joyful. Dang, I'm gonna be stuck here. Beer, 99 cents. Soda, $1.49. Deli, $1.99. 99 cent beer up here in, uh, where the hell am I? Cookville, Tennessee. Believe that? 99 cents a beer. I remember I went to the Times Union Center a couple years ago, and it was $12 for a 24 ounce. It's a heck of a deal. Oh, I just missed the arrow. Long trip up US 65? I couldn't even tell you where that is, to be honest with you. <laughs> Millennial. I need my GPS, you know. <laughs> ah, crap. Somewhere in the middle of the U.S. Do I watch Jeff Dunham? He, I used to when he first came around. I mean, I think ever. Oh, screw you! That was the fastest arrow I've ever seen in my life, copper. Cut me some slack. Lights me right up. Jeffafa Dunham. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like his first comedy special was was funny, and then after that, it kind of wore thin. But it usually gets a chuckle or two out of me. Why, are you going to tell me I sound like one of his characters? Is that what you're going to tell me, Nathaniel? I sound like him? Or not him, but one of the... One of his silly little puppets? <laughs> Peanut. <laughs> oh, man. Jeff I think Walter was the best one. Big fella. Easy now. Best Walmart greeter ever. <laughs> Welcome to Walmart. Get your shit and get out. 
That's the way to do it, though. In and out. Keep it moving, people. In and out. <laughs> oh, jeez, with these red lights. Killing me. Whole back half of that car came off the ground. He hit the brakes so hard. Jeez, this AI, I tell ya. I tell ya. Just wanna drive right through them! Run them over! Okay, I'm good now. Yeah, Nathaniel. <laughs> I'll do my best. Like I said when I saw that no trucks in the left lane sign. I'll do what I can, but no promises. Dang it. <laughs> hey, don't get me wrong, Johnny. When I'm playing by myself every once in a while, I just get sick and tired of it. Bang, bang, bang. Wish I had a plow truck some days. Just not for snow, just for AI. Just plow right through them. Like that one modded Grand Theft Auto 5 video. Where they put the big shipping container where it's clipping through the road and he's just launching cars in outer space. Like, I want to do that on here some days. Let's give me a big plow, modded engine, like, you know, nothing crazy, just like 20,000 horsepower or something. And just pedal to the metal and launch AI cars in outer space. All day long, send them to the moon. Boom, 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 one right after the other. See you later, bye. I want to hit them so hard we take out satellites and the satellites are dropping out of the sky. And then we'll hit those too and we'll send them to outer space too. <laughs> We're going to Knoxville, Tennessee, my friend. We are almost there, that detour sent me this way and I had to get diesel so I thought my rotary <laughs> hey once I saw that video with that like I said the modded GTA 5 and he was doing it I was like oh I so want to do that on ATS <laughs> Oh no! Oh Jesus, they got that side closed off too? Oh 
Well, that's stupid. Where are you from? You from? Huh? I don't know what you're asking. Where did I pick up from? Key West, Florida. Hold on a second here. That's so dumb. They got it closed off right there and right there. Even if I went around, I'd have to go through Cleveland. Well, we're not going to do all that, let me tell you right now. I am ready to move on from this run. Closed right there. Closed over there. But how can they? Ugh. No, I lost my bearings. So we're gonna go right here. <laughs> Timed off road. No, no, just a little, just a little teleporting. So this is why they got it closed. Interesting. Oh, sorry guys. I ain't got time to go around. <laughs> I, I had permission. Yeah, that cop told me I could do it. I'm oh, looking all state all state billboard. When mayhem happens to you, teleport and go around. little Jedi mind trick to get around the detour. <laughs> Finally, Knoxville. Where the men are men and the sheep are scared. I mean. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> Todd thought it was funny, so I got that going for me.
at least this part of the coast to coast map it seems like they've done a lot more work to ah oh, crap it ain't it ain't so copy and paste as it used to be like Florida kind of the southern part up around through there pretty much the way I've been so far is a little bit more detailed than other parts of this map it, it's still all pretty much copy and paste but it's a little bit different I remember when it first came out it used to just be empty barren roads with AI which some of us still is to be quite honest Caution, wide right turns. At least it's a pull and drop off. I gotta try to back this jalopy up. There we go. And delivered. So, like I said before, the uh, and it turns it around for me. The load on the truck is gonna have to stay until I go to the shop. Is there? I hope there's a shop in this town. There's the garage. I don't want to buy a whole garage just for a shop. Well, butter biscuits. Let me just pop over to that Kenworth dealer. The easy way. I'm gonna change it up to a tanker. And see if I can find a little tanker run to do real quick. Real quick like and in a hurry. Uh, that's not it. Aha. There you are. You thought you could hide from me, but you can't. Just real quick, let me uh, get this. Right, nothing over there. Okay. Um, there we go. Sorry about that. And get some repairs. And truck configurator. I'm going to switch to. The tanker. And I'm going to try out this little short guy. We're going to put Ah, I hate when it does that. No, I want Tanker, 200 gallons. Day cat. Or no, do I want? But then I gotta go. This.
All right, Johnny, man. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit, buddy. It's good seeing you. It's not that. It's not that. Not those. Battery box. Aha. And then this is going to become one of these. Okay, chrome. Still got that short head, right? Yep, okay. And this is going to turn into one of these. Somewhere through here. Good year. There it is. Perfect. Do those run into each other? Yeah, they do, don't they? That's going to be like that. Alright, alright. Hood emblem, perfect. Black grill mesh, stack headlines. Bumper is good. That's good. I don't need a front mirror. Paint breathers are good. Okay, this part. Um, tanker six by four. Tanker eight by four fenders. Ah, oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Blank for tanker. A big banana. Still got me looking at the back of the truck for some reason. There. Butane blue. Butterscotch. Go green go. Oh crap. Scroll that up. There we go. Matador red. Panther pink. Omaha orange, peacock green, hoppy yellow, purple line, red and brown, sassy green. Oh, we're a sassy farmer when you need her. Sassy green. You know what? We're going to stick with the sassy green. I kind of like it. Tank or pintail. Okay, yeah, so it puts them back there. Auger rack. No, that's just silly. Begins no. There they are. Ah, oh, man, I can't run those. Just a short little stubby exhaust down there is all I can do. Oh no, I guess I can put stacks on it. Okay, it can only be the certain ones though. Oh, those look pretty good. I don't mind that. I'm gonna go with Peterbilt wheel. No, I don't want GPS. Bear claw. I'm gonna put that on there for reasons. <laughs> no, I don't have a reason for it. I'm only kidding. I'll go with the HF, F, HFG logos wherever I can. Um, yeah, I'll go with that. And we're good. For a mortar. Now I just gotta switch up my trailer.
Yeah, I'm gonna go with a short tanker. Oh. Uh, I gotta go back in there. Ah, dang it. I gotta go back. The front tire is clipping through. It's too big. It's still kind of big. Well, let me switch all these wheels to John Ruda wheels on. Does he have a wide chrome? No, just that one. Oh, those are Michelin. And I could save myself all this trouble by just running the different hood if I really thought about it, but why make it easy, you know? Nobody wants easy things. <laughs> I guess that's not too bad. Dome looks silly on those wheels for some reason. And gonna go with the uh, da, 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 da. I'm gonna go with this forty Cummins four 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 forty four forty forty no four four forty four. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Okay, now we're good. Feels like a whole different truck now. Nothing coming out of Cookville. Let's go by route length. Wow, that's a heck of a one. From White Horse, Northwest Territories. I know, it's from here. Zacatecas to White Horse. Jeez. Let's see what this message is. Excuse me. Maxwell, Maxwell. 
Oh, now there's one in Knoxville. Figures. Uh, Tacoma, Washington. Oh, these are sh really short. Where is Arkansas? There. The only town in Arkansas is Little Rock. And I don't have it unlocked yet, so I can't click on it. Ah, oh, crap. Let's try it. Go to Zaka Texas. Oh, what is this? Hold on a sec, I just saw something over here. Can't do that here. I'll have to do it after. Aha. It's at the gas the load is at the gas station. How do you like that? Freight market, okay. What? Cargo market, that's right. Take -take -us. Let's go in there. Alright, I'm gonna do this little quick job. Where am I going to? Oh, they saw me pull around, I guess. So, now I can put that down, we're all loaded up, we need to hit the road, let's do it.
now we're down here in Mexico where these roads get a little jank at times That's interesting. <laughs> checkpoint no habla espanol peace out I definitely like this these two mods together I should say. The truck truck by itself is a good mod and then the added tanker and stuff like that is just awesome. 
It all seems to work really good together. Here's a brief look. Hello. Those ones are a little bumpy. Not bad. Uh, oh, okay, we're okay. Just gonna go a bit more through town here. And then, like I was saying, when I was at the shop back there, being able to switch the hoods, the color, and the inside a little bit, that flatbed to a tanker makes it feel like a whole different truck. And it's still the same truck mod, just changed up, you know? It's great. Which is great. And it's raining again. Yeah, I know, but traffic, bro. Traffic. Kind of a weird turn. Now we got some more of them. I'm not stopping for your little speed bumps. Sorry. Come on, go, go.
us. So yeah, we'll get this dropped off and then uh, wrap things up. And that'll be that. But overall, really good truck. Really good add-on for the truck. And the coolest part about the tanker is you don't need to pretend load. <laughs> like you can't tell if it's empty or full anyway. But I think he did add it so it does put weight on the truck. Because even with that load of lumber that I was just hauling in the, for the last combination, it was, uh, when I went through that weigh station, it was 79,000 pounds. So there's definitely more weight than what's in just that little pup trailer. Freaking traffic. I did not think that fence was going to be there. That yeah, was on me. That was definitely on me. I wanted to cut it extra wide so I knew I'd make it for sure. And I cut it too wide. <laughs> Alright everybody. Oh, I had that... I had that GPS up the whole time again, didn't I? Oh well. Here is your 26,000 pounds of diesel. There we go. Wipers will go off. Parking brake will go on. Trucks in neutral. Pop out, take a look. Put that up. Put that off. And deliver the load. There it is. That's all I got for you today. Stop turning on its own. So, thank you everyone that came and hung out with me today, this afternoon. It was a good little stream. I'm glad it went so much better than last night did. I hope you all have a good rest of your day. And until next time, I am Newall, and I'll see you then.